All right, Grant, so a couple things. So your form looks uh, relatively good with your uh, pulp cable pull through. A couple of suggestions that might maybe feel as, in your own words, clunky. So the first is that you're going straight down with the uh, with the weight. What I'm going to encourage you to do is to like literally reach back through your your legs. So it, it's really this this backwards and forward movement rather than this down and up. So uh, a couple of repetitions of what I'm alluding to would be here and then pulling up and through. Now I'm not I'm not hip thrusting into like low back extension. It, it really just comes to the point where I, as I feel my glutes and my posterior chain are locked out, but I'm not like leaning back into it. Simultaneously to that, one of the other things that you, you can notice from the video is that as you go down, you're doing a, a really nice job of keeping your upper back neutral, but you start to flex through your low back. And it's subtle, but it, it looks like this versus that. Slightly rounded versus shoulders back down and back so my lats are engaged and I pull up and through. Otherwise it, it looks really good. If I had to summarize, again it's more this back and forward where you're reaching through the legs, driving up, not going into low back extension, and then simultaneously being able to control that movement with your low back. The other two points that you made, so with the thoracic extension and rotation, I'm glad that you've noticed progression here. The, uh, eventually you're gonna reach the point where uh, you just have sufficient spinal mobility that you don't need to continue to progress. But from where you're at to where you wanna go with it, so again, I'll have the bolster here, I don't have it at the moment, but as I, as I sweep up and around, once I get good at this and it can and I can just open up the next bit is trying to increase that circumference so I, I, instead of just going around I'm I'm reaching and this is going to cr create that side bend and rotation more and magnify that movement more so than when uh, I did it previously still doing my maximal expansive breaths at the end And as I exhale, I can get a little bit more reach there. Three big breaths. Again, maximize that circumference as I come back and around to the starting position. If you're able to do that five consecutive repetitions with maximal circumference on both sides, without any pinching in the shoulder or otherwise, you're gonna be in really good shape. Last thing is in regards to the calves. So, Given the angle joint, there's, there's not too much variety here. You're already doing the different angles, which is awesome. Um, I'm just gonna step you over here to the, the calf raise and we'll, we'll talk that out. So, uh, we'll, we'll get you to come a little bit closer there. So, it, it, yes, there's there's the point where you're gonna be doing it straight, you know, with your, your foot perpendicular to the edge versus bow out versus slightly internally rotated all the while driving through that first and that second toe and then uh if you want to go mm -hmm. from the front just making sure that we don't get any bystanders if possible yep so here's my midline you can notice it either by my buttons or my belt buckle my fly what have you right so what i want to ensure is that my foot that i'm training is slightly off to the side so my, I don't center my mass over the foot, but rather I'm there. The significance of that is that it really allows me to drive through that first and that second toe, creating a good contraction to my medial gas tract as well, as well as my lateral. Progressive resistance is gonna be key. So I'm glad to hear that you're holding weight, but you're gonna to wanna to continue to progress the amount of load that you're doing Simultaneously with that, on, on days where you're doing higher repetitions, you may want to vary the speed. So being explosive up and then slow down. Specifically, it would look like this. So here I am, my, my center and midline is off to the side. I got my weight here, my invisible weight in my hand. I'm gonna drive up. Then it's gonna be one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five. Drive up. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5. So you're training at you know, anywhere between 6 and 15 reps 
with the variety of speed and tempos, it's going to give you that comprehensive muscle development and physiological adaptation that we're striving for. Um, other than that, they also talk about bent knee calf raises. Um, that's uh, like another variation. But I think for right now, if you really exhaust this straight knee, uh, you're going to be in really good shape.